Hello everybody, I'm Serta and welcome back to Planet Crafter 1.0. Well, we have made some progress. Uh, what I've done, first of all, let's have a look at the new base. I've, I've just changed a couple of things. The, the four small uh, living compartments that I had in front, I've changed to one big one. So this will be kind of a lobby and crafting area. Uh, this is an extension which will then go to my command center and this side I'll expand out to go to my living quarters. And then this will all be storage and there'll be stuff upstairs and yeah, it's going to be cool. Anyway, so we've unlocked a couple of things and uh, I would like to get better ore extractors. So I need to push pressure a little bit because uh, that's quite far off. Uh, yeah, we, we're only 10% of the way, not even 10% of the way to tier 2 ore extractors. But we do have optimizers. So uh, we're going to use them today and we're going to keep pushing ahead. So let's get stuck in. So in between episodes, I believe that we unlocked, maybe it was between episodes, the tier 4 drill. Now if you look at those numbers and compare the two, it's unbelievably different. It's such a massive jump, but also a massive jump in resources. I'd need osmium, super alloy, and a lot of super alloy. I might do one of those just to give us an extra boost on the on the pressure. It also gives us a little bit of heat. But uh, I could, yeah, with that built, I could probably knock down a few of these. But I do want to give it a push. We we do need to to try and advance to the tier two drill. But at the same time, we also need to consider that we're going to need super alloy rods. So we're going to need to be able to make those and also osmium rods. And that comes at 39 GTI. Yeah, we are a long way off that. So let me see what I've got. We can always break things down and recover materials. I do have six of those. Do I have the osmium? I do have osmium. So let's go and build a tier four heater. So let's go and build a tier four drill. And this is not going to be the permanent location. I will move when we get to tier five and grab that and put it down. That should have a huge impact. Right. Yes, it's massive. It's massive. So we're going to let that go. Now, we are a little bit behind on heat now. Well, we're not physically behind, but in, in progress, uh, we are a little behind. So maybe I can do a little experiment. So we unlocked the optimizer and we need a uranium rod, two explosives, two iron and a cobalt. But unfortunately, I don't have enough uh, uranium. Uh, I did build a, another power plant, nuclear power generator tier two so that that was three uranium rods gone so there are two options i could uh could put up another rocket it may not give me three rods it might get me close but there's another option so let me get something to drink and we'll go on a road trip and for this we are in the rain we're going to head out uh towards the aluminium area but we're going to carry on through the aluminium area now we do have enough range to get there uh, and it is kind of essential that we do get there at some point. Unfortunately, we can't put an extractor at the uranium uh, because uh, it will not work with a T1 extractor. So, but at least there's some uranium we can pick up. All right, so we've traveled through the aluminium area. We're going sort of east, southeast. And you can see there's two rocks with this kind of a alcove between them. Uh, there's another area. There's boxes here. Maybe we should check that out on the way back. And there's this very narrow canyon pathway. If you come through here, do a couple of turns. In preparation, I did pop our chair and I put up a, a living compartment, so we're okay. I haven't really checked out this chest yet, but if you look through in that cave, there's, a, there's green glowing stuff. Oh, and there's some more. Yeah, I'll just take those for now. I'm here for the uranium, so let me grab a breath. And we come in here and everything turns nice and green. Very cool. So yeah, I'm just going to run around. I'm going to collect all the uranium I can here. But now you know, this is the uranium cave. And this is where you can put a tier 2 or tier 3 extractor. And you will get lots and lots of uranium. And there's a chest in here. And nothing really interesting. I'll take the squash and the iridium rod. Sounds like there's a little storm happening outside. Right, I do believe I've picked them all up. And in total, there's 20. That includes the two I picked up from the chest outside. So not a huge amount, but it's enough to get us going. Now, what I'm going to do is I will come back and I'll put a tier two crafting station. Wait, it's not a tier two. It's the advanced crafting station. I'll put one of those in here. 
because the last thing I want to do when I'm extracting now is have to transport a whole bunch of pieces of uranium back when I just need the rods. Anyway, let's uh, let's go back and we'll oh, grab some oxygen. All right, so we're going to head back and on our way back, I'm going to just quickly stop in at the spires that we saw on the way here. Okay, so this, this is the spires. There's the aluminium area. And there are a few chests around here. And I believe there's a golden chest as well. All right, so we have uh, solar panels that we could actually destroy and rebuild, but I'm past that stage, so I'm not worried about that. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, a uranium rod. That is convenient. That was also unexpected. And another one of those. Uh, I'll take the food. And I'll take the food from here. Okay, so there's, there's flower seeds and stuff in here. That'll be useful later. There's more solar panels we can take down. And there's this chest, which has another microchip in it. And yeah, okay, well, let's take that and go and find the golden chest. Now, the way to find it is there's this cave over here. Uh, that has uh, iridium and uh, I think it's got osmium and it's it's got osmium yeah it's got osmium and sulfur as well in here and that leads to the blue desert which I'm not going to worry about right now because we are not that far but if we come out of the cave and we move around and there's this spire so we go around one spire and it's behind another one and there it is so let me get the good stuff oh my gosh um maybe yeah i'll take those for now but at least i know this here so i can always come back for it right i need to get oxygen pretty quickly fortunately i have a base built is there anything in here oh um darn what can i leave let's leave the food oh mind you i could actually use the food and the water I'll take the aluminium. Yeah. I'm stumping myself. But yeah, fortunately I've got this this little outpost in the aluminium area. Right, with oxygen topped up, let's head home. And we'll be able to possibly get ourselves an optimizer going. Turn that in. And another one. Good. That means we have four on us all of a sudden. And go and decode the chips. Let's see what we get. Tier 2 GPS satellite. I actually need to start doing that uh, GPS and mapping stuff. Display case. Okay. And the map microchip. That's actually useful. What do we need for the map? Ah, that's where Obsidian comes in. Now, we haven't seen that. It's quite far away. and But we might find some in chests at some point. Not going to worry too much about it. But right, so I'm going to grab all the stuff that I need to, to make the optimizer. Explosive powder sorted. Look how much food stuff I've got. Right, and uh, yeah, we did find a heat multiplier. So there we go. Yeah, so let's see what this does for us. I think I could, yeah, that's, it's got a fair range. So if I put it over here. Now, if you hover over it, it should tell you what machines it's affecting, but only after you've put in the fuse. And boom, there you go. You can see those three machines are being affected. And this gives a 500% heat multiplier. And as you can see, it doesn't have a, a power cost either. So, like the rockets. Also, um, yeah, there's a tier 2, which you can put three fuses in. Uh, the bonuses stack, and you can put multiple optimizers as well. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. So, let's go see what that's done. Oh, look at that. That's a big jump. Okay, so 17,800 with and... Without it was 5,400. So yeah, big jump. All right, so I did pick up a lot of rocket engines in the last episode. And uh, there's a whole bunch of them now. So I think maybe I'll use a few of them and get a few more rockets going up. I do want to increase pressure a little more. I think the pressure rocket is the one with the, with the silicon. So let's pop that one up and that will create an iridium storm. And I'm not in a desperate situation for iridium but i i would like to to get the pressure up so there's the pressure multiplier yep iridium and before i launch that it's going to make noise i can't look at the screen 
All right, I'll just wait for the noise to be over. Mind you, it's not, is it? Yeah, not too loud. All right, so uh, I'd like to get another plant rocket up. But I'd also like to get the uh, the GPS and mapping information stuff. Oh geez, I just took a direct hit. Man, these things are accurate. All right. Must remember not to stay here when I launch. All right, so maybe what I'll do is I'll put the, the tier one GPS satellite up as well. Yeah, I think I've got everything for the two rockets that I want to put up, um, except I need one tree bark, if I remember correctly. I did make a compass microchip. So let's uh, do this thing. All right, we will launch the plant rocket first. Okay, that didn't go uh, as it should have. Interesting. We still get the bonus. It's fine. And then the tier one satellite. Let's see. All right, you're also struggling. Is there something in the way? Oh, there are rocks. <laughs> Is that why? All right, well, you guys just chill over there. That means that if we come into our uh, map info screen, there we go. So now we can zoom out a bit. That's tier one. Uh, the, the higher the tier, the further you can zoom out. But this shows us our little map at the moment. So good. And uh, we've also increased our biomass by a lot. So that's also looking great. Uh, oxygen could use a bit of a boost. Right, so I'm thinking a couple more tier two flower spreaders. That'll help. Not sure how much super alloy I've got left. Ooh. I think I've got enough for two. I'll have to go out. I know where to find some more. So not a big issue. And we can make it, so that's also a bonus. Now, I've also made another container because I've been collecting food. So I'll need those. I'll need some of those. And I should probably then put some other stuff away. I'll grab a couple of golden seeds. I have a, another one after that. So I just need to make the fertilizer. I think I've got what I need. Ah, I'm missing the algae. Oh, gosh. He's a problem. He's no longer a problem. All right, I still need to make two more, so I need to fetch some more algae. And I've only got two there. We shall swim for algae. Yeah, these uh, tier two algae generators are great. And my inventory is full. Uh, okay, two more fertilizer sorted. Now I have everything on me. Let's get some more flower spreaders down. I'll just sort of keep them to the same area. One there. Oh gosh, I'm short of water. Yeah, maybe I'll put the other one on this side. That should look pretty. Okay, golden seed in there, and then hop over to the other one. And a golden seed in there. Perfect. As you can see, that's done quite a bit for us. Uh, 10,000 oxygen now. And it's given us a little bit of a boost on the biomass as well. Good. Someone asked me in the comments if I'm going to have uh, the tier 1 biodome integrated into my base. You know, it, it may be a nice add-on, but it's not necessary because... This is what you see in it. The only reason that it became available was to unlock the ability to see your biomass tech tree. But if we go over to the uh, progress screen, or this screen over here, the blueprint screen, we can actually just click on that and we see the same thing now. So, you know, if you want to keep your base compact, I mean, it is a, it is a fairly pretty building, but you don't need to have it. It also doesn't offer a heck of a lot in terms of uh, oxygen or benefit to your terraforming. So, yeah, only 135 oxygen per second. We are way beyond needing that. So, yeah, if you want to leave it off after the fact, it's fine. But you do kind of need it initially. So, like I said, I am super low on super alloy. So I'm going to grab a snack. Uh, I have food on me. I'll take some water with. And we're going to do another little road trip. We're going to head out in that direction. And we're going to go and find Super Alloy. Okay, so we're heading past the bottom of the Iridium Cave. Uh, with the uh, big ship that we, we checked out in the last episode on that side. And we're just going to go through this little desert. If you remember correctly, there's this little underground bunker right there by that rock. We check that out. It's very small, doesn't have much. And I just carry on over. And when you come over the hill, uh, you will see... These pillars that uh, make this spot look like an actual entrance to something. And if we go inside here, 
we will be able to find super alloy lying on the ground. So I'm going to put down my little starter base right in here. And I'm going to run around well, after I've got some oxygen. I'm going to run around and collect super alloy. Now this area uh, is an actual super alloy spot. So if I had a T2 or extractor, I could put it down here and I would be mining super alloys. Unfortunately, cannot be done with a T1. And there's a chest with good stuff in it that I want. And then we get to the back of this cave. And there's this really big door. This door is very important for the story. Uh, so bear it in mind. And we find another chest. And this has yeah some okay stuff in it. We'll grab the, the really good stuff. As you can see, I think I've actually cleared out this whole cave now, and there's not much super alloy, but at least there is some. Once again, not stressed because we can make it from the basic resources. Anyway, I'm just going to take these back to base. Oh, before we do go back to base, if we just head a little bit further west. Oh, there's a down satellite over here, and that's a really cool area that we'll visit at some point. And if we open, there's more stuff and a blueprint. So I'll just grab that. Now, this, this uh, I call Paradise Valley, for obvious reasons. It's really pretty. But down in that way, there is the other uranium cave, which is uh, very difficult to put extractors in, but it is possible to get a couple in there if need be. But there, there are pieces of uranium there, so that's another thing to bear in mind. And there, that looks, that's all new. So I assume that's a new biome, that's where the, one of the new biomes is. I haven't checked out the new biomes at all. So yeah, it'll be interesting when I eventually get there. I will be as surprised as you. Oh look, there's waterfalls over that side. Speaking of waterfalls, we can grab a drink. And look at that, coming into our base in the evening. Just marvel at the prettiness of this game. It's amazing. See how everything's starting to turn green? We're getting quite far into moss, I assume. Uh, you can see greenery on the top of rocks as well. Yeah. That's looking very nice. Yeah, we're almost finished with moss. 92% done. And slowly but surely, we're making our way towards heater tier 4. That's nice. Indeed, yes. Very good. All right, so we have a microchip, so let's decode it. Jetpack tier 3. Ah, my word. I don't, think you, I don't even think I have jetpack tier 2 yet. But what do I have? Ah, yeah, I still got the tier 1. Well, um, I suppose I could do something. Oh, well, there you go. That's tier 2. Now, what do I need for tier 3? Actually, you know, I could do that. One more explosive powder, and I think I'm there. Oh, another osmium. Okay, jetpack tier 3. There we go. I think maybe I should just check out what I've got. But right, I've got the Exo 2, Agility Boots 2, Backpack 5. Alright, uh, Agility Boots. Yes, there's Agility Boots 3 as well. Do I really want to get them... Well, probably. There's a couple of other things I could get as well. Wait, did I get the map? No, I didn't. Oh yeah, that's because uh, Obsidian. Haven't got that yet, so that's fine. So, uh, Agility Boots Tier 3. There we go. Now I should be able to move pretty quick. Oh yeah. And that'll help me collect all of the Iridium that I need that I just used on making Explosive Powder. So let me do that quickly. We've unlocked the biomass screen. I think that's another big screen. Okay, I think I have all I can carry. So I'll make one of them into a rod and uh, I will need the rest because some recipes do actually use iridium. And I'll stash the rest of them in a general box. I think I'm doing pretty well on iridium rods. And we have finished the moss stage and we are now onto the flora stage. So we'll see general plants starting to pop up all over the place that we haven't planted. Another thing I think I'd like to do is I'd like to get rid of that tier 1 algae generator and I'm going to put in another tier 2. I do feel like that is pretty important. So that one is gone and that means I only need one more bio nuggy I think. And yeah, maybe a couple other things. So the bio nugget takes two mushrooms and uh silicon i can't remember what else oh water all right good 
So we got that. And as I use my one and only water, I get warned about hydration levels. All right, let's see what else we need for this. Uh, just another super alloy and a fertilizer. So fertilizer is not a problem. And yep, there it is. Just the last super alloy. And we can go and pop the next tier two algae generator. Well, that'll give us some more oxygen, a little bit more plant. And we'll squeeze it as close as we can and keep it all nice and compact around here. But right, what has that done for us? A little bit. Yeah, we're looking, we're looking okay. Maybe another plant rocket. I got all these rockets, so oh, why not? And I just got to collect that tree bark. Let's grab the other one for, for storage. And another plant rocket. Okay, so that's going to give us an extra boost on the plants. Yes, looking good, looking good. I have decided that I'm going to grab another container because uh, the foodstuffs that I'm making are starting to fill up containers and block me from doing things. Okay, let's get rid of all of this. I think maybe I'll just keep the beans out and put them and leave them in this container over here. So that, that'll be the actual food that we're eating when I run out of space food. And then this will be for the production process anyway. So let's clear out the farms them in here yeah we're doing pretty well we are not short of anything good good so we'll just keep building a stockpile of food i saw I have one of those i'll just keep them both on me and grab a little more water good we're looking strong all right now i have run out of uh sulfur so i'm gonna need to go and fetch some more with all the with all the explosive powder we've been making uh, it has taken its toll Okay, got a little bit out of there. I wonder if I've ever even found this chest before in my many playthroughs. Huh. It's in the yellow smoke and it's not easy to see. I mean, that's how close we were and we couldn't see. Okay, anyway, well, that's good. All right, well, I've collected quite a lot of sulfur. And uh, I can have something to drink. Top up my oxygen. I just want to check that cave and see if it's open through to the top. Oh, more sulfur. I also picked up a little bit of aluminium, but I'm almost full. Let's see if this uh, ice has melted yet. Uh, it does look like it has. So we can pick up a little more osmium as well. Oh, not much because I am out of space. That's okay because there were only like two pieces here. So, all right, so we can get all the way through here. All right, and I'm full up, so let's head back. Geez, a tier 3 jetpack with the agility boots. Uh, fantastic. And I am going to build another locker because I need to separate aluminium out now. It's becoming a little bit too much. There we go. And now we can just have the uh, sulfur and osmium in here for now. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to have another one specifically for the algae. And yeah, I'll probably just put that one upstairs. But for now, just to get it out of my inventory, I'm going to put it over here. Right, at this stage, we could build a biomass screen. I'm not going to do it. don't really have the space. The information it gives you is just basically a breakdown of this biomass and how it's contributed to what each part contributes. You have plants, insects, and animals. And um, yeah, it's, it's not crazy important information for me right now because we don't have insects and animals. But we have unlocked tier 4 heaters. Gosh. How expensive are those? Three super alloys, two iridium rods, and an explosive powder. But, good grief. So much, so much more. And it goes outside. So, I'm building one of those. And I'm going to throw it outside. Explosive powder, two sulfur, and an iridium. Need two super alloys, and... Is it two super alloys? Is it two iridium rods? Let's see, three super alloys. And then I'm gonna break all of those down and I'm gonna move this dude out to where the heat is going to be. Once again, oh, hold on. I need to actually make the explosive powder, don't I? There we go. Once again, not final destinations for these items. I'm thinking I'm gonna have them hidden away a little bit. Tier four heater, and there it is. Awesome in all its glory, okay. Now I'm going to break down those other three because that tier four is worth probably, it, it looks to be like about 20 tier threes. 
let's just make sure of my numbers here. Heat 28, heat 538. That's almost 20 times more. That's a lot. And it also adds pressure as well. That's cool. And just pop that out. Deconstruct the optimizer. And I really should put that door in on that side. And I keep forgetting about it. Optimizer down here. And fuse in. And now. What is it giving us? There it is. Heat 2.69 nanokelvin per second. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a big jump. Very nice. And that means our heat has pulled away. A lot. So probably going to have to work on some pressure soon but that means that heat which unlocks uh nuclear fusion is on nuclear fission sorry is on the way yeah it's quite far away but we are shunting our way there right now almost thinking that i should put another drill in but that'll be almost super alloy gone and the osmium is pretty precious right now so for right now i'm not going to do that but now we have all the space that we can do stuff with but before I forget, let me go and let me just do that door. Right, that and that, and I have a silicon, so there we go. Now, if the rocks block one side, we've at least got another way out. Things are growing again. Actually, when do we get to the tier two food grower? At 35 tons. Okay, so we, we're creeping our way there. And after that, we're going on to tree spreaders. Now, that's that's a good thing because that'll give us a real good boost in oxygen. We're at 290 MTI. Our oxygen is lagging badly. I need to do something about that. Heat is, uh, well, the oxygen is pretty overpowered, so eventually it's gonna overtake the numbers over here. Heat is doing extremely well. Pressure is struggling a little bit. I'm gonna have to do something about that. I'm not sure what it is yet. Biomass is kind of ticking over. It's doing all right. And we are 19% to flora. Don't see any trees yet. Yeah, but you're going to see some serious changes somewhere over that side. Anyway, uh, the ground is nice and green. So that shows that the moss is done. It's looking completely different from when we first started. And my uh, final base is sort of coming together. I'm not putting a lot of emphasis on it now. I'm just growing it as and when I, I have stuff and I feel the urge. But it's going to look awesome. And I think that's where we're going to leave it. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, if you have, give us a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications. Let me know your thoughts. Have you bought the game? Are you playing the game? Uh, I see I've had a lot of comments. Oh, look, there's cross. I've had a lot of comments from people with uh, lots of handy tips. So if you want some tips, check out the, the comments section. I do appreciate all the comments, all the support, all the views. Thank you so much, everybody. You've, uh, you've been great. And I look forward to delivering a whole lot more videos. So thank you for joining me and until next time, cheers.